So there's been some talk in the past couple of weeks about Fox and some concerns or worry or whether or not there is concern or worry about the ratings of SmackDown, especially heading into October when SmackDown makes its premiere on Fox. Some worry, some concerns, some questions about it. Executives at Fox have been answering about it. So I think the fundamental question is, should Fox be worried about SmackDown's ratings? The answer is you goddamn right they should be. Because they are not that great. They're not the worst in the world. They're still performing very well in the 18 to 49 demographic. But when you are just teetering right at 2 million viewers, even if you assume, even if you assume that you'll pick up a few hundred thousand viewers because you go from cable television to even more television households with free over-the-air TV like you would have with Fox, even if you assume that, that's still putting you in a space where, especially the competition that you'll be going up against, it's a relatively mediocre overall viewership and ratings number. It is enough to survive, but it is ne not nearly enough to thrive. And when you're looking at Fox and the powers that be at Fox, and they plunk down a billion dollars, whatever the hell it was, in order to get this package, what was it, 200 million a year for five years? You know, if I'm sitting there and I see these ratings heading in the wrong direction and sustaining that wrong trajectory, I'd be concerned too, and I'd be scared. I have concerns about Fox just in and of himself. Do they really understand how to do professional wrestling? Do they know how to do professional wrestling? You could say, well, you look at some of the stuff they do with some of the uh, other sports that they have under their umbrella. You talk about the NFL, Major League Baseball. You talk about some of the stuff they've done in the past with NASCAR. And then you got Big Three. And, da -da 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 and they've picked up golf recently and so on and so forth. But the reality is, is that wrestling is an entirely different form of entertainment or sport, however you want to look at it. And in even, even different from UFC, like you talk about all the mixed martial arts and UFC they've shown on Fox Sports 1 and all that other jazz. This is different. You're, you're appealing to some similar types of fans, but some different ones too. And when you look at the WWE and you look at the trajectory in recent years and where it's been heading, it's not great. It's not great. And if I'm sitting there talking about what we've got here with SmackDown and talking about potentially the increased cost to have to produce a two-hour wrestling show as opposed to putting something else on the air for two hours, you talk about the smaller return on investment you get from big companies and advertisers for putting money in spots into those commercial breaks on SmackDown, like, yeah, I'd be horrified, really concerned if I'm Fox. Because I just bought into five years of them to the tune overall of about a billion dollars and their viewership is continuing to go down. And even if you have the belief that it is going to go up a little bit initially because of the increased access to more homes, the reality is, is it's not going to increase that much. And if WWE doesn't do well initially, to maintain some of those additional fans, the ratings are going to drop and they're going to drop even more, even below what levels we currently have where they're hovering right around 2 million viewers. Like that's still enough to survive, but that's not enough to thrive. And is that really enough to justify paying $200 million a year? And I'd really be concerned if I was Fox because you've got Vince McMahon, who even if he doesn't give up any control over WWE's Raw and SmackDown shows, which him giving up control on those, I'll truly believe that when I see it. Like he might not be as involved in the grind of it, in the X's and O's of it, but he's still going to have final say-so. He's still going to oversee everything. And if you think all of a sudden Vince now, in his damn mid-70s, is going to fucking change his stripes and he's not going to sit there and rewrite shows a couple of hours before they air, you've got to be kidding me. He's just going to be stretched thinner. He's going to be more worn out, more worn down, more divested in terms of his efforts, his energies, and his resources, which could be disastrous for both his new XFL venture and for SmackDown as well. So when I look at this as a Fox executive, I'm like, who the hell is going to be running this shit? I don't know how much confidence I have in terms of what they're running right now and what's it going to look like as the XFL starts to come into being in 2020. Like, how bad are we going to be off here? 
And then when you look at it, when you talk about building up TV shows, you know, shows need star power. F fucking SmackDown doesn't have star power. Like, who the hell are you going to build that franchise around on Fox? Like, I mean, realistically, you don't have anybody. You have nobody that you can build that SmackDown brand around. And especially when you're talking about network television, you want to have stars. Those can draw people in. That could put eyeballs in front of televisions. And the WWE doesn't have them. And let's be realistic here. A lot of that is by choice. And that could be disastrous here. So talking about paying a shit ton of money for a product that is slowly bleeding off viewers more and more by the month, by the year. Questions about who's going to be in charge of the ship and running the show once you get to October. The lack of star power. The fact that you have to fill two hours of television every single week. And how is the Fox TV audience going to handle that? You know, I'd be horrified if I was a Fox executive right now. I'd be pinching my whole ring and everything. Praying to God that something good happens and something positive comes out of this. Because otherwise, if not... This very, very quickly could potentially look like a really, really bad investment for them.